I'm welcoming you to the Language of Light course series, and I'm looking forward to launching this program again. Uh, for those of you that have already taken the course, which it, it is a required curriculum that you've already taken the course, uh, Etymology of Number, you know that in that course series, we really dove deeply into many areas uh, of mathematics and physics and geometry and several other areas as well, including mysticism and esotericism. So this advanced course series is intended for those of you that have already taken the course and really wanted to learn more about uh, this language of light and this language of numbers where the constants act as verbs of action and where the numbers themselves act like words and the syntax is organized in sentences uh, around geometry uh, as well as circles and the geometry that embeds within that ranging from uh, triangles all the way up to all the way up to very complex geometries. So we're gonna be going through all of that uh, and then its implication to the flower of life and never leaving behind either the artistic element that is necessary uh, to really embody. And one of the things that Walter Russell said that every uh, learning that comes uh, from sort of cosmic awareness or consciousness must embody itself in an artistic expression and form. And uh, that really stuck with me. And so that's something that I have really believed. And I have uh, taken to heart this expression of art uh, in relation to the mathematical endeavors. So we really look forward to having you join us as we deeply dive into uh, the mysteries that come along with numbers and start to decipher this language of light so that all of us can actually use it better. And one thing that I can say for certain is that uh, Taking this course will have a profound impact on your own consciousness and how you think and how you perceive both mathematics and the world around you. And I think that's a very, very uh, exciting and uh, it's a very exciting area for us because we look at this and we want to make sure that our work has impact. That's why we're doing it. Uh, otherwise, we just keep it all to ourselves. But we, we want to share this with, with you so that it, it can advance your conscious awareness, so that it can advance your thinking around mathematics, and also that will teach mathematics in a way, uh, even at this advanced level, that you can visualize how it interacts and creates geometry, how you can visualize how it interacts with the world around you uh, to create wave propagations, and so you can visualize as well uh, what that means for uh, ancient symbologies, as well as uh, you know, what we're facing in the world today with the extreme polarities that we face. And not many people would think that the answer lies in mathematics, but I believe that uh, unified physics is very much emblematic of what we're seeing in the world of this extreme polarization, that you have kind of two schools of thought in unified physics and that never the twain shall meet. But actually with a unified mathematical theory that is now rapidly emerging and we invite you to join us on this very exciting endeavor uh, that these disparate worlds in a physics sense uh, can be unified and that these disparate worlds in a philosophical sense likewise can be unified so one of the things i just wanted to show you uh, that we will be going through in the course is something i worked on just last night and this is uh you probably recognize the flower of life but I've applied numerical patterns to this uh, as they spiral out. And this, of course, does relate as well to the same stuff that is uh, where we found the discovery of prime numbers and the mathematical constants and this overlap of the, uh, of the wave propagations and that causes the mathematical constants to emerge. It really creates a beautiful symphony. Um, so as we do this, we're going to be drawing from history just as we did in the first course series. We'll be drawing from history. You'll be learning with me, uh, in some cases, on a real-time basis on the latest, uh, most significant discoveries that we're making. So we've been bouncing these discoveries and, uh, and, and sort of new approaches to both mathematics and unified math and geometry and music and wave theory and electromagnetism. So we invite you on this journey into mathematics, into the world of mystery, uh, it's a, a black box for a lot of people because it's taught as a black box at universities and and What we try to do is teach it in a way that will make math easy and fun for you And you'll be able to contextualize it so that this sort of course series will have a real benefit to you in your day-to-day -day life not just in in sort of uh, your contemplation moments or meditation moments when you're trying to contemplate the meaning of the universe and why we're all here this should be a practical 
application for you and hopefully will teach you as well how to uh, be able to get access to these kinds of discoveries, not through learning from others, but through autodidaction. And autodidaction is a, is a fundamental part of what all the great philosophers and polymaths were able to utilize. And, uh, you know, if you think about the world before there was a pie, before there was a phi that we knew in conscious awareness, these great minds had to figure out what those things were and discover them. And many of them were people not too unlike you and me. So the fact that people can discover these things and they're not taught these things in school and they now become the reason why they're taught in schools uh, is something that I think could have a, a very, very profound impact, not only on the world, but on your personal life. So with that, we invite you to this journey into the language of light and its implications for the universe, for unified physics, for unified mathematics that underpins that unified physics theory. And as well, we invite you on a spiritual path uh, as you try to understand and discern what these things mean for you personally as you go throughout life.